Welcome to my organizational behavior playlist. Today, I will be discussing levels of OB. So, let's see first of all the question that can be asked in the examination. Organizational behavior can be studied at three levels of analysis. Explain OB model considering these three levels. The weightage can be 7 marks. So let's see, first of all the question, what are the three levels of organizational behavior? Three levels of organizational behavior are individual level, second group level and third organizational level. So basically there are three levels for the organizational behavior. The first is the individual level which involves organizational psychology and understanding human behavior and incentives. Especially individual level which involves organizational psychology and understanding human behavior and incentives. The second one that means in the group level which involves social psychology and sociological insights into human interaction and group dynamics. So name itself indicate in the group level specially related to the social psychology and sociological insights into human interaction. Third one, the organizational level. The top level is the organizational level where organizational theory and sociology come into play to undertake systems level analysis and the study of how firms engage with one another in the marketplace. Now let's see these three level briefly one by one. First one individual level. So here you can see the bottom most part is actually the individual level of these three levels. So now we are talking about individual level briefly. The individual level focuses on the attributes and behaviors of the employees and their outcomes on thought processes such as personality, values and attitudes, perception and motivation. So very simple from the name itself indicate individual level that means it focuses on personality, values and attitudes, perceptions and motivations of the employees. Second, the major contributing discipline at this level that means at individual level is psychology of the employees. Individuals working in organizations are the building blocks that means we can say the base of any one building or group formation. They are very different in nature. Now the second one that is this one hold as group level. Group level analysis deals with the way people interact with each other and its outcome on various processes. So here you can see these are the different processes, communication, group decision making, conflict, power and politics. So group level analysis actually deals with the way people interact with each other. Examples of group level concept are team, conflict, leadership, power, and politics. So these are parameters where group level analysis is very much important. Next, group level concepts may include how groups are formed, how to make effective teams, etc. Major contributing disciplines at this level are sociology, social psychology and anthropology. Most of the individuals work in a group or you can say in a team. 
a group is defined as two or more individuals interacting and interdependent who have come together to achieve particular objectives of the company where groups can be either formal or informal now the last level of the organizational model that is the organizational level sometimes it is called as the structure level at the organizational level the focus is on organizational variables like organizational structure organizational culture change in management and organizational development basically in organizational level the focus is on organizational variables major contributing disciplines at this level are sociology anthropology and political science the focus of analysis at this level is on how their working relationships in structure as well as on how organizations interact with their external environmental forces now at last this is actually the summary of this three level individual level group level and organization level so from this figure you can conclude something that we are going to see now each aspect of any level that means out of this three level of analysis usually relates to all these three levels for example decision making includes individual decision making and its impact on the group dynamics so it also relates to the organization structure if you have any doubt then write in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it